of the germ theory. Hey there folks, can you believe there was once a time when people thought diseases came from bad smells or were divine punishment? It sounds wild, right? But it's true. But don't worry, our story today has a happier ending. It's about how we came to understand the real culprits behind our illnesses. Grab your detective hats, because we're about to dive into the fascinating world of the germ theory. Imagine you're back in the 17th century, and you've got a buddy named Antoni van Leeuwenhoek. Antony is a pretty cool dude, not your average Dutch draper. He had a hobby, a game-changing one. He loved peering through his tiny glass lenses and discovered a secret miniature world. Antony discovered microbes. Now, that's like finding out there's an invisible Hogwarts alongside our muggle world, but we have no idea what magic it can do, yet? Fast forward to 19th century France, where we meet our next star, Louis Pasteur, a scientist who couldn't stand the sight of spoiled wine. I mean, who can, right? But Pasteur, being the brainiac he was, discovered that the party crashers ruining our food and drinks were these unseen microbes. They weren't just spectators, they were players. Thanks to Pasteur, we learned to beat these tiny spoil sports at their own game by using heat, a process we now call pasteurization. Pasteur's work was groundbreaking, but the world of microbes was still, well, murky. Enter Robert Koch, a German doctor with a knack for solving medical mysteries. Inspired by Pasteur, Koch became the Sherlock Holmes of microbes. He discovered the specific bacterium causing the devastating disease anthrax, thus proving these tiny beings were not just spoilers of milk and wine, but actual creators of diseases. Even with Pasteur and Koch's revelations, acceptance didn't come easy. Old beliefs die hard, right? People clung onto the bad air theory, probably because the thought of invisible little monsters inside us seemed a bit far-fetched. But like a good plot twist, evidence mounted and by the end of the 19th century, the germ theory was the new star of the show. From then on, our approach to diseases took a 180 degree turn. No more blaming bad air or bad luck. Now we knew we were up against biological foes. This knowledge opened the doors to vaccines, antibiotics, and the importance of sanitation. As we moved into the 20th and 21st centuries, the germ theory kept evolving. New villains like viruses and prions entered the scene. The advent of DNA technology gave us a sharper image of our adversaries, and we started crafting even better weapons against them. So, here we are today, with a far better understanding of our tiny microbial mates, both friends and foes. Our journey with the germ theory is a testament to the power of science, isn't it? It's like a real-life superhero saga, full of challenges, discoveries, and triumphs. And it's not over yet. Every day we are learning something new. Isn't that exciting? Thanks for joining me on this microscopic adventure. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting stories from the annals of science. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Thank you.